Now that we have seen the formulae for permutations and combinations, let's see how we can apply them. We will see two basic cases. First, when we have to select three out of five distinct objects, remember five distinct objects. And second, arrange three out of five distinct objects. Let's understand the select case first. Selecting three out of five distinct objects. For the three objects that we have to select, we make three slots. The first slot can be filled in five ways. Any one of the five digits can be selected. After one is selected, four remain to be chosen from. The second number can be picked in four different ways. And as two are already picked, three remain from which we can pick the third one. Three ways. But as we have been asked to select, the order does not matter here. And as the order does not matter, we divide this by 3 factorial. So 60 over 3 factorial is the number of ways in which we can select 3 objects from 5 different ones. We have seen this logical approach in the previous sessions. Don't worry and be patient. We will come to the formula shortly. There was another approach we had used to solve such problems. Let's say we number the five objects as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. From these five objects, we have to select three. We can select any three objects and put them in the S category. And as the other two are not selected, we put them in the NS category. There are five factorial ways in which we can arrange five different objects. As three of them are in one category, we divide this by three factorial. And as the remaining two are in another category, we divide it by 2 factorial. This will give us the same answer as this one. Now we come to the formula. As we just have to select, the question of arrangement does not arise. It is a case of combination. We can use the NCR formula, selecting R things from N different objects. As we are selecting 3 out of 5, this will be 5C3. The formula for combinations is n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. Here, n factorial will be 5 factorial, r factorial will be 3 factorial and n minus r factorial will be 5 minus 3 factorial. This will also give us the same answer. Here, we simply use the formula we knew. In the other two methods, we use some logic to get to the answer. Of course, if you remember the formula, you would get to the answer quicker. But understanding the earlier methods would help you in two ways. First, if you forget the formula, you would be able to apply these concepts. And second, modifying the question slightly wouldn't stump you. So make sure you understand the concept and then you would definitely know when to apply the formula. And remember the golden rule. Don't memorize. In the next part of the session, we will see the number of ways in which we can arrange 3 out of 5.